How's it going? My name's Marcus, and I guess you could say I'm a ghost hunter. I mean, I spend my nights crawling around in dark, scary places, searching for proof of the paranormal. To be honest, since I started doing this, I've captured some pretty incredible stuff. I've seen and heard some pretty amazing things, but to me, it's just not enough. I have to see more. So, I spend my spare time crawling around in places like this, looking for that proof. I guess you could say that spending time in dark, scary places is kind of my whole gig, because I'm not just a ghost hunter. I'm also a comedian. I spend my time flying around the country, going from city to city, making people laugh. But in order to keep myself entertained, I spend my nights finding places to ghost hunt. Today we're at Wise Guys Comedy Club in Ogden, Utah, which is located right on the supposedly haunted 25th Street. Now we spent today walking around 25th Street, talking to people, trying to find the best local haunts to spend our night ghost hunting. We've got a haunted bar, a haunted sushi restaurant, and later tonight, we will be doing America's very first ghost investigation in a haunted comedy club. So we got a lot to get done tonight. We've got four locations that we're going to get locked into, try to find something for you guys. I'm very excited to get it going. Before we get to our ghost hunts, I gotta go to work. Would you say it's the Utah accent? I guess. I, I refer to it as dumb locals, but. <laughs> but they say Layton, like Layton. There's and no that's tea. like the thing, there's no T. I went to a, a, a high school called Brighton. Brighton. See, I just did it. I did it myself without even realizing it. Brighton. B R I G H T O N. Brighton. But that's how I say it. Brighton. And a mountain. And a Brighton. mountain. And a fountain. Did you, you just drop it? I don't know. Do I, does everybody do that? I don't know. I've never mountain. heard it. I've never mountain? heard it with mountain. Mountain? Mountain. Go up to the mountains? <laughs> Isn't that, that's how people say stuff. Okay, so this is 24th Street. It doesn't really look like, like anybody lives here. Like it's not dark outside, but the town is dark. Like look at it. it like, looks there's vacant. no lights on. Everything looks Right, vacant. I mean, and, but it's, it's not like light enough that like there would be no lights. There's nothing, none of the, the, the lights are, it's just weird. There's street lights that are on, but it doesn't look like this town's lit up. It just looks old. Look at this building town. TJ's Antique Emporium. I think that it means that you the actual, antiques there. I think the Emporium is the antique. I think that it's just like literally this is AJ's uh, Antique Emporium. We got to the club a little bit early. We figure what we'll do is let's just kind of, I don't know, what do you want to do? Just kind of walk up down the street. Now we had some people that like told us that they had some hauntings. So we're going to kind of walk up and we're going to see if we can't find those people. But I kind of also just want to walk. Okay. Alright. 
Let's uh, let's go a little farther down. Oh, oh good, this guy's here. Hi there. Yo, dude, there's kids. There's kids here, so why don't you shut All right. up? Ghost Hunters, right? Yeah. 25th Street was the first street ever built, Ron. Okay. There are tunnels underneath the city that run the whole length. Mm -hmm. When we moved in here, we had to go to make sure that our hot water was turned on and everything. He took me downstairs, and he took me downstairs. You can see where they blocked everything off. You can see all the tunnels. He says there's some creepy things that happen down there. That's what we need to do then. We need to focus on trying to get underground then. Thanks, man. I want to move Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very uh, much. What do you think? What do you think that is? Homeless guy? You think it's homeless dude? That's pretty fancy. Look at that. That's like a fresh thing. Somebody isn't just gonna leave there. Hold on, let me. I, I don't know, dude. Give me a sec. All right. We should make sure I do. I'll be right here. Walked in, trying to figure out what this is about. I, I ran into Yolandi. Now Yolandi was explaining to me that this is not what we thought. We thought this was a homeless guy's. Like, and we were like, <laughs> why? Who's giving out home? Like, this is a real fancy spread for homeless people. It's not. It's an offering that you guys actually give to your ghosts. Yeah, we leave it here for the spirits. Just uh, basically in the Asian tradition, they like to do offerings um, to different spirits, but this is for the ghosts here. Ghosts here, and now these are for not just for the spirits, the spirit world. This is for the ghosts of your restaurant. Yes. So your restaurant's haunted. Yeah, I believe so. Huh? A haunted sushi restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of a haunted sushi restaurant, Ben? You ever heard of? That? I, I've never heard of a haunted sushi restaurant. Would you mind if we came in and kind of looked around for yeah, a few minutes? That's fine. Let's go inside. So this is. Wow, this is a really cool place. Huh. And you're saying that, that this place is... This place looks too pretty to be... <laughs> see, that's what I like about... See, that's what I like about doing this show. See, other ghost shows, they have to go to prisons and terrifying, insane asylums. I get to go to a beautiful haunted sushi restaurant. Have you ever seen an apparition or an orb? Balls of I've, I've like never seen any. You just... Yeah. You know, there's somebody there. There's a lot of like places, right? Like nooks and mm -hmm. yeah. This is like it's it's interesting because it's not open. Somebody could be right there. Somebody could yeah. be right in there. You know, I know a lot of these buildings are very old. This place, I, I, I'm assuming, like the, the the rock base and the brick and stuff that you guys have here is probably some of the original. This this is the original. Yeah, this is the original. And in fact, all over 28th Street, they try to keep as much of the original buildings, if not the whole building. I mean, this is this street in and of itself is almost like a historic landmark. Yes, it is. When you think of haunted, you think scary hospital, yeah. scary prison, crazy dungeon, scary. You don't think beautiful. Peaceful sushi restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> you believe that this place has spirits here? Yeah. I I would love to come back here uh, after you guys close, when it's quiet, when it's dark, and maybe maybe actually get one of our spirits, maybe capture it on film. Since we're done at the comedy club, we can just hop down here and see if we can find uh, any sushi ghosts. So that was cool. We just kind of walked out of Shinsei. We're going to come back a little later on tonight and actually go and set up. They're going to let us uh, go in there after they close, which is going to be rad. Have you ever, have you ever heard about this? Like a haunted sushi no, restaurant in history or anything? But now I want to I wanna see, look at the side of this building. What is this? Now this is like a clothing store. Look at this. This is an old bar. Lighthouse now. Here, give me a sec. Okay. Talking to this guy in here. 
He's telling me that this whole place has like these sun basements and it's got these tunnel systems. You know how we were telling him that we wanted to get into those tunnels? Right. This guy's got a basement here and then there's another one over here that he says we got to get in. Let's just do that. Let's just try to do three hops then. Let's do the comedy club. Let's go to the sushi restaurant and when we're done, if we can hit this bar and maybe we can just do three at a time. That'll work. Does that sound all right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, then let's just head in here and uh, talk to this guy and see what we can do. So. All right. Check this out. So this is Chris, and he's telling me um, that this place is, is old. I mean, this is the is this the original building that it has it was standing? Yes. You were saying that this place, I want to say, like most of the places along the Fifth Street, when you walk into them, then you probably agree with me here that they're not like they're not scary looking up no. here. They're they're really nice. This is a beautiful bar. It's wonderful. It feels great. But apparently there's downstairs is and scary or downstairs. Is. Well, Chris has agreed to let us go look downstairs real quick, so Ben, you want to, uh, I, I, got, I brought my bag, so maybe what we can do is I'll just grab a couple of pieces of equipment and walk down and kind of just do a little treat them and see if there's anything you can see. They're cool. Right on. I'm going to grab stuff. Hey. Basically, I, I carry a pretty simple ghost hunting kit. Um, when I go on the road, I typically don't carry around like most people, I don't have $50,000 in camera equipment and ghost hunting stuff. I prefer to kind of keep, uh, keep things simple. I want to see things and I want to hear things. Those are my two things. So I always keep a camera. My phone always works as a digital camera. It also works great as a video camera. Um, what I prefer to use is, I have this little steady camera that I got from a company called iStabilizer. And what this does is, it acts as a steady cam for my phone. And it also can act as I can set it down and use it to shoot. In here, we just have our basic uh, spear box that we hooked up to an external speaker so that we can just carry it with us. And this is what cycles through radio frequencies and allows us to hear voices. So what I'm going to do is take my spirit box and um, my video camera, phone, uh, down into the basement. Ben, you film me and let's go down and see if we can't uh, capture an orb or get a, get a response on the spirit box. Let's, uh, let's see what we can find. Let's go. All right. Switch over to IR. Okay. Oh yeah. What is this? What are the straps? Let's go. Is there more to this? Did you pop this false wall out? Uh, it's been out. I don't know who popped it out originally. It's L. This is an old coal shoot. Ben, look at this. We decided to do a quick spirit box session, see if there was anything down here. And although nothing came through, this basement was definitely creepy. Now you're saying this isn't the only basement, no? No. There's a, another one that's got like a little, like a little prison cell in it. Oh good, we got a prison cell base. We love prison cells. Alright, so we're actually heading outside the building and down into... Well, down into this, it looks like. Oh, watch your head. Chris agreed to leave us alone and let us look around this place that we had started referring to as the prison basement. It was dark, it was dirty, and it was definitely a place I would not want to be locked up. We decided to try another spirit box session, and this time, the spirits let us know exactly where they were. Walk again. All right, I need a light though, I can't see where I'm going. Walk where? Behind me? I'm standing right here. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. If you're here, would you mind if you came back in the night time when nobody else was here and just sat down here? Would that be okay? Right before we turn our spirit box off, we got a second voice saying here, this time a woman, but just like the one we captured before, it also says it in a German accent. 
Alright, because I, I keep hearing noises, but it's the people in the bar, yeah? Yeah, you can hear people walking right above your head. So I want to make sure that anything we hear, because I this place is creepy. Yeah. I'm not going to deny it. This is a weird place. But I want to I wanna come back here where there's no chance that any of the noises I'm hearing is something else. You know what I mean? All right. So let's go see if Chris is going to let us come back here. Maybe he'll walk around with us tonight in the basement when the... Uh, Duck. You know, like, because... Uh, we gotta hook up with Guy later. I think Guy's gonna. This could be a pretty cool place. With two more locations found and locked down, it was time to head back to Wise Guys and get ready for my show. <laughs> Bat at him like a kitty. <laughs> With work finally being over, I hurried to the back to talk with some of the employees here at Wise Guys to see if they thought this place was haunted. Let me ask you guys this. Uh, as employees, would you spend an hour in that basement in the pitch oh, darkness no. by yourself? No. Not even in the light. Not even in the light. No. We're going to do that tonight. We're going to go down there. We, we, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm not thrilled about it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, you know, I'll tell you, I've, I've played this club, like I said, for years, and I'll be, I'll be up on that stage getting my stuff cleaned up, you know, organizing stuff, you know, whatever, and it's just always that, mm -hmm. just always something. There's always, it just like right off the, right out of the corner of your eye. We're gonna let all these guys get out of here, we're gonna let them go home, we're gonna shut this place down, and we are gonna spend as much time as we can down in the basement and especially down in that little crawl tunnel that we found. Uh, we're also going to be joined by my good friend and fellow comedian Guy Seidel who's been playing another club and is on his way up here to meet us right now. So, I don't know, within the next few minutes this place is going to be completely ours and we're going to see what we can find. Guy just got here. Guy has been working with me for years. He's gone on a bunch of these ghost hunts with me. Ultimate skeptic. Doesn't believe any of this. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, gas side up. Cold. It is cold. Yes. Alright, welcome to Have you ever been here when it's, uh... You know what? I've done shows when it's about this pack. Guy, you've never been to the downstairs this place. Never been to the downstairs this club. I've, I've performed here several times, um, but I've never, I've never gone where I have no business going. Oh. Huh. Follow me. That guy. This is the coolest thing about this place. It's just like all the other places on 25th Street. This place has that old downstairs that the old creeper <laughs> does. Down. So here's your main kitchen area. Uh, but the thing is that a lot of people don't realize is that's what this club looks like. It's a beautiful club. It's fantastic. And then you come over to this area, and all of a sudden, this club becomes something else entirely. We headed into the basement to show Guy what we had found when we were looking around earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this, over here, this creepy tunnel where I was hoping to come face to face with one of 25th Street's ghosts. We actually don't know how far this goes back, but it supposedly goes all the way back in turns. Nice. Well, I'm gonna try to get in here without disturbing this, this guy. I wanna see a goblin. <laughs> I want to see somebody floating. So without further ado, we grabbed our equipment and headed into our first dark, creepy place of the night. Your mom. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. This tunnel. We finally settled in and decided to try something different to see if these comedy club ghosts actually liked comedy. Let's try this. I'm going to see if I can get somebody, since this is a comedy club, to do a, to do a joke. I thought I heard it too. I thought I heard 
<laughs> who's there. Let's try to separately, but yeah. Knock, knock. Maybe you want to tell me the joke. Can you say knock, knock? Seemed like these ghosts might actually be fans of comedy after all. However, things changed quickly right after we heard a voice ask us for what sounded like... Okay, we thought we heard you. Help? I can't tell. That's what my knees were saying. What the f***? I just saw a face behind you, dude. Turn around. There's a f***ing face next to you. Holy s***, dude. I just saw a goddamn second face next to your face lit up in the view screen of what you shot. That freaked me the fuck out. It was right over your shoulder. I apologize for swearing, but dude, I just saw a face over your shoulder. It was right there next to you. It was a second face that was in that light, and it caught the light, and it looked right at me from where you were. It's I'm sorry that I just freaked out like that, but dude, I just saw that, and that scared the shit out of me. It was right here. It was literally right here next to you, and it was just right behind your ear right there. I caught, I saw the light of it in the viewfinder. I, I swear to God, it was, it was like a... Well, you always wanted to see one. Maybe it's in the other camera, because it was on. Dude. That would be rad if it's in the other let's, camera. Let's, yeah, let's go, 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 let's go check let's that go right now. Let's go turn that off, right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's run up and review real quick. Because that, dude, I want to see what that was. So wanting to know if we captured what I saw, we immediately headed upstairs to review our footage. And although there was nothing on our other camera... What the f I saw a f face behind you, dude! Turn around! My phone continued to film once we got upstairs, and I ended up capturing a strange stringy mist that flies by my camera right after I set it down. Now with no one smoking and no hot food, this weird downward moving mist was not something we could explain. So tonight I spent time on stage and underneath Ogden, Utah's favorite comedy club, Wise Guys. I got scared so bad I almost EVP'd my pants. What the f I saw a face behind you! And captured a strange mist that seemed to fly past Ben's butt. But now it was time to hop to our next hunt. So we decided that while Guy was still hunting with us, we'd head over and explore the scary basements we had discovered earlier today down the street at the Lighthouse Lounge. After discovering the Lighthouse, and finding out about its creepy looking basements, we couldn't wait to get down into these underground rooms to see if anyone was down there waiting for us. Would this hunt be enough to sway Guy's skepticism? We were about to find out. Do something to let us know you're here. It's really quiet. Air feels fine. Down here, I want to I want to show you guys that aside from the light that's coming out of their viewfinders, there's nothing. In fact, Guy and Ben, will you um, just so people know, switch over to you from IR to regular for a second, and just show people what you're seeing. I just slammed my balls on a table. Mm, that's how dark it is. Guy, Ben, film each other for a second when those lights off. Boop. Okay, now see how you can only see their viewfinders? That's what we're seeing. So we started walking around. And this place was creepy enough with the lights on. But with the lights off, this whole basement looked like the set of a horror movie. I mean, this place was creepy. And we crawled through every nook and cranny. The only problem was, nothing happened. We even tried a spirit box session, but nothing came through. All right, then this is what we do. Uh, we split up. So with that brilliant idea, I decided to stay in this room by myself and do an EVP session. And we sent our skeptic guide to the other room for a little alone time with a camera. Okay, here's where I'm at. I'm in a room with these straps. What these straps were doing, I don't know. They could have been hanging me. It could have been some kind of kinky sex act. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty interesting to see something crazy happen. But uh, as a skeptic, I think, kind of in my mindset, I think that if you want to see something, you're going to see something. Um, 
I would I would like to be shaken up a little bit. That's kind of what I want. But uh, so far, so far, nothing's done that. And nothing was doing that. So we decided to pack up and head over to the other place that we'd found, the creepy prison basement on the other side of the lighthouse. Once we got down into the basement, we immediately started to investigate this weird prison cell that had apparently been there for well over a hundred years. We stayed there for over an hour, but nothing happened. We were almost ready to give up completely, but right about here, I managed to capture the first visual evidence we got on this ghost hunt on my phone's camera. As I pan back, I managed to catch this pair of orbs that seemed to be moving together, acting almost like an orb couple except that they aren't fighting. And while our main cameras didn't capture anything out of the ordinary, except for a group of grown men wandering around in the dark looking for ghosts, I did actually capture a few other really cool shots as I walked around filming with my phone, including this cool shot of an orb shooting off the floor. These two green flashes that appeared out of nowhere next to Ben And finally, my favorite piece of evidence that we captured at the lighthouse. This incredible orb that flies into screen and then turns suddenly, as if somebody had thrown a basketball against a wall. The coolest thing about this is not only does it fly in like a streak, stop and hover for a second as a perfectly round orb and then take off in a different direction, but it makes noise when it does. Listen. You can actually hear this make noise in mid-air when it changes direction. And you can even hear the noise in slow motion. So with two hunts full of dirty, dingy basements behind us, it was finally time to head to our final hunt of the night at the beautiful, comfortable Shinsei Sushi, where we were hoping the ghosts had made reservations and were waiting for us to join them for dinner. Earlier today, we literally stumbled upon Shinsei Sushi when we noticed what ended up being an offering to their ghosts. This is for the ghosts here. After finding out from the staff that this place seemed to be full of paranormal energy. So your restaurant's haunted? Yeah, I believe so. You believe that this place has spirits here? Yeah. We couldn't wait to get our ghost hunt going. So with our final hop of the night about to begin, I was ready to head to this beautiful little sushi restaurant where I was hoping to sashimi some ghosts. Now, Stasia, we talked earlier today. You told us that there were friendly spirits, that this was good energy here. Have you ever been here and hung around in the pitch black darkness? No, no. <laughs> is this the first time you've ever done this? Yes. Have all any of you dark, been like all the way this. dark here like this? No, I'm no. too scared for that. Okay. Well, one time I came back in the restaurant to get, uh, grab my food and I ran right back up. <laughs> so, so this is a first for you guys? Yes. Yeah. Let's just start, I guess, and uh, let's just do a uh, a complete dark walkthrough. Let's um, let's go back this way. So we headed off towards the kitchen to start our hunt. This is the kitchen. Does anybody here? Now's the time to let us know. After entering the kitchen, I immediately felt drawn to this corner of the room that led to the upstairs area. So I quickly grabbed my camera and headed off alone. But then I called everyone to come join me. Ben, it's weird, dude. We just walked, like, right... This is it, right here. I keep, like, getting, like, I'm walking through a chill right here. It's just kind of weird. If you guys are here, we'd love to... Yeah, 
Hey, Ben. Yeah. We should spirit box right here. Ladies, why don't you guys come in? And we're gonna all sit down. It was at this point that we captured our first visual anomaly of this hunt. As I set my camera down, and we all took our places around the table, this cool little light flies up like we sat in its seat. Not knowing that these spirits were already showing up, we started our first spirit box session of the night. We're gonna go ahead and try our spirit box. What a spirit box does is it just cycles through channels. The idea is, is that we ask questions and that spirits can answer us through the white noise. So we're going to go ahead and ask some questions and just see if we can get any responses. Is there anyone here with us that would like to say something to us? I said my name. I didn't even say my name yet. You say my name? Can you say it again? What's my name? After reviewing this audio, we believe this voice comes through and refers to me being in charge of the hunt by calling me the Ghost Hunt Chief. How about we go around and we'll introduce ourselves, we'll see if anybody can say it. That's right, my name is Marcus, you can also call me Mark, that's fine. I'm Anastasia, you can call me Stasia. My name is Amy. I'm Joe. I'm Joe. I'm Joe. And we're just here, we just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. Me? I keep, I, I, I think I keep hearing you talk. Can you, can you say something definite? Can you tell us something about why you're here? No. No. <laughs> well, that would sound like a, like a little kid, didn't it? Like getting sassy. Is there a little kid here? Unaware that this voice saying four would be showing up again soon, we continued on. That was just a, a whole tumbling sentence over over three three uh, sweeps here. Let me ask you this: I'm I'm I've got some some girls here. Do you know who these girls are? Woman? Amy. Did you hear Amy? Yeah, I heard Amy. Okay. We thought we heard you say Amy. Do you like Amy? Yes. I heard that plain as day. It's that same voice too. I want to see if we can get this dude on the line. Here. Is this voice referring to where we are? Here. What does this place sell? Eat. What what do they make here at this at this place? I think we're in cat. I heard cat. <laughs> you guys don't cook cat, do you? Yeah. So I decided to switch frequencies just to see what would happen. And as soon as I do, a voice comes through and very clearly says the name of one of our hosts. Stasia. <laughs> Stasia. Did you hear that? Yeah. We thought we heard you say her name. Can you say it again? Can you tell me who this is right here? You can see this is scanning through and there's nothing coming through this. Nothing at all. If we went somewhere else, would it be easier for you to talk to us? 
So with things quieting down, I wanted to try something new. I decided to split everybody up into different rooms to see if it would help us get any better responses out of the spirit box. And as soon as I did, our spirit box spoke right up, saying four again, as if it was telling us where to go. And it kept saying four. Okay, show me where four is. Four is that really one. Let's bring the spirit box. It's going four then. So going where we were told, we settled into room four. Something just touched my leg. Up the side, up your knee, where? The, right here? Like, right here. Ben? You getting frisky? Nope. Okay, well <laughs> then, I don't know who it was. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask a few more spirit box questions. Just, just try this one more time and see if uh, maybe they want to answer us questions now. you proven that you're real? Say my name again. Say it clear. You're my name. Yeah. I'm Ben. That's Ben. That's David. I'm Mark. Say one of our names. It's a very easy. Ben. All right. Now there was a lot going on there, so let's watch that one more time. As soon as we turn our spirit box on, it started talking. And immediately says my name. Mark. And then it says my name again three more times. Okay. It first says girl, and then says Ben's name. My name. Yeah. I'm Ben. And then one last That's time, ben. when I ask That's it to David. say a name, it very clearly say says Ben names. again. Ben. ben. And the spirits let us know they listen. Ben. Okay, thank you very much. You guys are very, very cooperative. Ghosts. That just said ghosts. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. So with the spirits showing up and having struck out in the basements of Wise Guys and the Lighthouse, we decided to ask about the underground here at Shinsei. What if we wanted to go down underneath the restaurant? Can we go down there? Are you down there? I just heard how's the ghost done. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm rec I recorded that. I'm gonna review that right now because I just heard how's the ghost hunt at the end of that. I heard that as well. Listen. Underneath the restaurant. Can yes. we go down there? There's lots of spirits. Listen to that. If we wanted to go down underneath the restaurant, can we go down there? There's lots of spirits? spirits. Yeah. Do you hear that? That says there's yeah. lots of spirits. Yeah. What if we wanted to go down underneath the restaurant? Can we go down there? There's lots of spirits? Yep. Yeah. Will I see you if I go down into the tunnel? How's the ghost hunt? Yeah, it's How's the ghost hunt? It comes yeah. through plain as, si as day. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. Okay, you guys, does anybody here disagree 
that that just said, how's the ghost yeah. hunt? It said, how's the it ghost hunt? That. So since these voices seem to perk up when we mention these underground tunnels, we decided to head that way, and our spirit box seemed to notice. Wait. Wait. Go. Go. So we quickly headed to the opening of this underground area, and a couple of us headed down to continue our spirit box session, but it seemed like the spirits were already down there waiting for us. I'm down here uh, under this crawl space, and you can see from looking around, I mean this kind of, there's not a lot of room down here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick spirit box session down in this crawl space. You guys, you guys said that you didn't want us to come down here. Now that we're down here, can you talk to us? Why didn't you want us to come down here? Were we invading where these spirits called home? That's what they seem to be telling us again and again. It was more talkative upstairs. So with the spirit box activity quieting down and sunrise not far off, we decided to bring our long night to a close. To be fair, I've been a few places up and down 25th Street so far. I've been in some really creepy basements. I've been in some really, really scary, inherently scary dungeons, and nothing, I'm, I, can, I can say this wholeheartedly, nothing felt as strange and as weird and as just off as this beautiful, welcoming, amazing sushi restaurant that is, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, if you would have asked me on our other hunts if 25th Street was haunted, I would have said, eh, who knows. But I'll tell you right now, the stuff that we heard on that box, the stuff that I saw through my finder, the stuff that I felt here tonight, I can't say, in my personal opinion, 100%, I can't speak for the rest of 25th Street, but I can say that out of all the places we visited here, there is definitely something here at this restaurant. I know it, I felt it, we had people coming through. How's the ghost hunt? That was the clearest, how's the ghost hunt? Asking us straight out, that was crazy. And thanks to Shinsei, because I'll tell you right now, after tonight, after what just happened in this restaurant, I'm fairly certain that there's something to these stories about 25th Street. Tonight, we spent time up and down Ogden, Utah's supposedly haunted 25th Street, where I performed at a comedy club in front of people and in front of ghosts. We also spent time in a dingy prison cell, where we heard an orb make noise for the first time ever. And we found a haunted sushi restaurant, where your waiter isn't the only one that checks in on you. In the end, when it comes to 25th Street in Ogden, Utah, I think it's safe to say 